but guys, so this is the first step three and so on until I really want to add this one. So um, we need to have a direction for the game for kind of game we want to make. So I'm gonna bring over the thread here. Yeah, this is it. Here's a link up here. Yeah. Um. So it looks like we're gonna either make collecting coins or a space invader clone. And it's kind of a tie. Um I think this is the collecting coins game. It's a little different. Space Invader is just like Space Invader. It's just the same. Oh, okay. Can't read text messages. I should do this. Okay, so we're gonna make a collecting coins game. So I'm gonna start off with adding the player to the game. So we're gonna do class. We're gonna call this player. And I probably should have extends flexel sprites. Make sure it's flexel sprite and not flex sprite. That kind of confuses people. What? And I'm just gonna do this because we might have to import other stuff from Flixel. Okay, so here's our constructor for our player. So if we wanted to put in here um integer. No, it's all the way around. X is an integer and Y is an integer. So that's th now once we um add our player to our play state we're going to, have to specify the x and y location of the player and that will spawn it in that location okay so let me set up here okay so um we're going to have to load our our graphic, graphic, graphic for our player. Um, and how we're gonna do this is we're gonna make a new class again. And we're just gonna call this A for assets. And we can delete the we can delete the constructor. And we're also gonna create a um, a folder inside of our. Um, source folder with images. So now we need to have a player for the game. And I'm bad at art. Um, I don't think we're going to do a sprite at first. I think we can just do something pretty basic instead of a sprite. Um, I'm pretty bad at art, so... I think I'll just use something else from one of my other games. Uh, let's see, which, what can we use? Ah, that's, a, that's a sprite. I don't want to use uh, That's a sprite sheet. Do, do, do. I think we're just gonna do this. <laughs> I have a red box. That is. Let me check it. I think it's 32 pixels by 32 pixels. Yes, it is. Okay. So we're gonna use that. Oh, not, not, not delete. Rename to player.png. Hmm. <laughs>
Okay, texting him back. Um, so we need um and assets. Um, so um public static variable. Um, name it whatever you want to. Let's do player image. I don't know player. I don't know, just PNG. Yeah. Um, and then I I haven't done this in a while. I forget. Um, I make that a class. And right here we do. We click on our image and we do generate embed code, and then that should work. So for here we do um, a dots player PNG, and it's not animated, and it's not in reverse. And thirty-two by thirty-two. So that is our player graphic. Well, so we gotta make a move. So let's do an update class for our player. So, let's do private. Sorry if I'm slow here. I'm trying to remember. Stuff I haven't done Flash in a little while, but I figured it'd be easy for tutorial. Um, let's override that. So, um, we gotta make a move. So, if um, FLXG, and that that FLXG contains most of um stuff that we'll probably use. It contains camera and movement and all that, key input, all that good stuff. So folks, G dot um, keys dot just pressed. I think, I think, just pressed mm, keys dot. Yeah, just pressed. Now we're gonna do the key. Ooh, what the heck? The key string. So we're gonna do W. So that's and then we will do that. Um, oh, there! I was like, I know I put two there at the end. Then put one in the beginning. Okay, so inside here. Um Okay, um we want the player to um <laughs> this dot I do x. X um plus equals mm, this should be y Plus equals, I don't know, like a number 10. This is like a bad way to do movement, but it's very easy and simplified. If you want a better way to do movement, we'd have to do like acceleration and stuff of the player. Gravity, acceleration, all that stuff, drag. You'd have some nice physics to it, but we're not going to do that. And a better way to do movement is use cases, but we're not going to do that either. I thought G dots, keys, dots. Just press um W A. So um for A we're gonna do X minus equals because we're gonna go left because it's A. Um so if you don't know this is Y axis up and down, left or X axis left and right. Left is negative, right's positive. For Y it would be up is down and negative is up. So I just realized that x minus um just the same ten for all of it 
And to make this really easy, I'm just gonna copy this and paste it twice. So then we have uh, S and D. Um, S will be positive. D will be positive, and D will be Y. Okay, so um, should be pretty good for that. I don't think I'm missing anything. So if we put our play state, do a it's all private, right? Private variable. Um, let's call this player. Make it use the player class. Now it'll be a fixel group. It'll be a player. It'll be a group itself. So then, what we're gonna do it inside play state is a constructor. Uh, we're gonna get inside here. Override. Create function. And our update function. So, our create function we're gonna do underscore player equals new fixel group. Okay, interruption there. Uh, I finished it off. Um, player to add. It's gonna be a new player. That's like player class, and then we have to list the x and y because we did it here in the uh, constructor. So then we just add the player to the scene, and we should be good. I guess I don't override, but I did. I didn't have to have private. Okay, here we are. Um, and here's our player. And we can't move him around 
because I didn't super the update. Silly me. Whoops. Okay. Let's see if it works now. Still doesn't work. Let's try this. This dot x. This dot and this dot. If it doesn't work here, I can easily I could probably do it more easy in the copy that out of there. I can just do it in here. Probably work better. So we have to change this to I'm sure player. Oh no no no! We can't do that here. Ah crap! Because it's a flexible group, so we can't do that. Figure out why this isn't working. There we go. Okay. Ah, oh, I was holding the keys down. Okay, so it's not just pressed. It's um uh, keys dot um w dot keys at w uh, then. Keys dot pressed, maybe W. Please don't give me errors because it's capital P pressed, pressed. So it has to be kind of like that, because, or else if you take your finger off of it, it'll still keep going. There we go. And I, why is D, D is on Y, well, I don't know what I'm doing right now. <laughs> S should be X or Y. Okay. So here we go. Now we can move around and move freely. So we don't have any boundaries with the box yet. So we'll do that next time. And we have a moving player on the screen. So that should be good, guys. Ten's a little fast. We might want to switch down to like I don't know five. So here we go. So now we have a moving player on the screen, and we're all good. So okay. See you next time, guys.